Hello everyone and thanks so much for tuning into the video. We'll get straight into it, but just before we do, I really want to quickly mention one of my regular and most loyal sponsors, Carly, because at the moment there is actually a deal that you really do not want to miss out on. It's their biggest ever yet, and as part of the Black Friday proceedings, we all love it, um, they're giving away 25% off their OBD reader and their app. The most I've ever been able to give away to you guys before is just 20% off the reader. So this really is a deal not to miss out on if you haven't got one already. And of course, given the time of year, this could prove to be a great gift for someone else as well. Of course, with Carly, you can unlock tons of hidden features on your BMW, um, such as being able to code the roof to go up and down with your key, like on my Z4, and like with my M240i, changing the intake sound to sound like a Rolls Royce. So there's lots of fun to be had with the product, but of course, you can also save yourself a ton of money by being able to diagnose issues and reset fault codes literally on your driveway. So if you wanna find out more about the deal, all you've gotta do is click the link in my description or in my pinned comment on this video and use the code BLACK25 at checkout. Like I say, it's only active until the 30th of November, which is like five days from now. Um, and of course, if you do jump on this deal, guys, you are really helping out my channel as well. So big, big thanks from me. Anyway, let's jump into the nitty gritty of today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, to, to a video about the Z4 today. Um, I'm actually a little bit nervous about today. So as you can see from the title, my Z4 is going for its MOT. If you're not from the UK, you might not know what MOT is. I can tell you what it stands for actually, but it's basically a yearly inspection that every registered car in the UK needs to have and to pass Uh, to be able to legally drive on the roads and so mine is now up for renewal and so I'm headed down to RBM Hampshire to get it sorted the only thing is one of the items um, that will fail you on a MOT inspection well I mean a failure could be if any of your warning lights are out uh, or on should I say and in my car right now I've got the uh, the airbag warning light, which is a very common warning light that lots of Z4 owners uh, have told me about and, and go on about, and also a brake uh, pad wear sensor warning light. So actually both of those are enough to fail this car's MOT. And what happens if it fails? Well, I can't drive it, which is a problem. But anyway, we're headed down to RBM because hopefully what we can do is get these lights reset because there aren't actually any issues. The brake light um, is from when I replaced the brakes myself in Germany. Just obviously didn't reset the sensor. And the passenger uh, airbag light thing, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's basically a common fault on these cars. It's, it shouldn't be on. Um, and it was actually a recall item, I believe, up until a couple of years ago. Um, that BMW recalled these cars for. So it, it is a known issue and is a fault, but I don't think that in itself is enough to pass it off the MOT on. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna get down to RBM and hopefully, um, hopefully get those lights reset. Then it can go through its MOT check and um, fingers crossed everything else is all okay. But I'm a little bit nervous because obviously I want the Z4 to pass without any issues. Um, if there are any issues, I'm expecting to have to get them ironed out and that's fine. But it would just be nice for the car to just get through with flying colours really. Uh, in other news as well, I haven't driven the car, this car, more than five miles in, well, over over a week at least. So it'd actually be quite nice to get the car properly up to temperature today and give it, uh, give it some beans. But yeah, theoretically, if this all goes really badly wrong uh, then this will be the last time I drive the car for a long time I suppose until everything's sorted but let's let's not worry about that until uh, until we know what's happening so hopefully we get down there today reset the lights no problems they inspect the cars maybe tell me that my tires might need replacing at some point and Bob's your uncle Fanny's your arm but uh, yeah I won't hold my breath let's just put it that way yeah, let's give it a little bit because the car's. <laughs> oh, it sounds 
so good, I forgot how proper it sounds. Third gear, look. Fast speed camera so we can have to slow down. God, living in London, eh? Right, look, I'm gonna shut up and uh, I'll speak to you guys a bit further down the M3 when we get to uh, when we get to RBM. God, it's loud in here. So just made it to RBM Hampshire, guys. Got the Z4 parked up here. I really need to get this sticker removed. Ben put on my car on that Nurburgring trip. But yeah, what's more interesting, as you can see, there's, there's my car. We haven't seen it for a little while, actually. But next to me, I've got a really nice Z4M. It's a coupe here. Another Z4 in front of me. There's actually a couple of Z4s in on the ramp at the moment. Uh, but also what's interesting is there's, there's a dealership right next to RBM Hampshire, uh, which seem to <laughs> specialise in Z4s. Um, too. So there's lots of Z4s here. In fact, this blue coupe is uh, is for sale. But yeah, uh, this is a bit of a little, it's a little bit of a Z4 mecca uh, here at RBM. And of course, RBM themselves do fantastic work on the Z4s. Hence, why I'm here. I think I had a. It was serviced fairly recently, and it was at RBM here for new. Uh, actually, it was here. It was here, wasn't it, for uh, a big service a few months before the. Uh, about a week before the Nurburgring trip a few months ago so um yeah hopefully those lights are resettable I'll leave the keys in there and of course the window open because <laughs> I still can't get in the car that's something I'd like to get fixed at some point um and also wheel really needs a retrim if you can I don't know if the camera will pick it up but ever since that Nurburgring trip it's just in bits and it's actually quite disgusting um never really thought I'd get a wheel retrim but it is at the point now where I think that would be a very good idea um, yeah I actually really like this M um, you don't really see them in silver that often and it is a very nice color for these cars so yeah I think also by the way I'm gonna be going using this mini today courtesy of RBM again just while they have my car in for a few hours they're gonna chuck me the key to that so I can carry on with my day which is awesome anyway We'll wait to get the car in, and of course I'll keep you guys updated with proceedings. Well, good morning everyone. You join me, clearly, a few days later. It's now Saturday, and I think I dropped the car off at RBM on Tuesday. Which is obviously a bit strange, because I thought I would be bringing the car back on that day. However, the car did fail the MOT on a number of things. Uh, so actually I'm just going to jump in the Mini now, which has been loaned to me very kindly by RBM. It's been actually really handy to use this. Quite enjoyed this Mini. But yeah, so unfortunately the MOT failed, which uh, I was expecting because I had the warning lights on, as I mentioned, but it actually failed on the door handle, as you may have known. Um, where's that? There it is. As you may have known, uh, the door handle, I couldn't open the door from the outside and it, it failed based on that, which kind of makes sense, I guess. So I had to source a part and it just took a little bit of time. Um, and there's been a few other things as well. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go pick the car up, drop this Mini back off to a swap basically, and then we can chat more once we're in the Z4 about exactly what the cars had done, because there's been a few extra bits I didn't know about as well. So uh, yeah, let's hit the road, pick up the Z4. Okay guys, so I've made it back now in the Z4 and I thought, yeah, let's just have a quick chat about exactly what's gone on. I realise this has all been a little bit rushed. Um, it's always tricky when video sort of filmed over several different days. Anyway, very kindly was able to drop off uh, the loan car on a Saturday morning uh, and pick this up, which, which is great. Right, so I've got the uh, MOT results here. Um, obviously this is the one that you can see uh, has been done yesterday which is a pass at 158,128 miles. Mental, I can't be, um, mad. Um, but what we wanna know about is 
you know, this isn't very ideal, is it? Trying to do it with uh, whilst filming. So what we've we got there. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we've got what actually happened on Tuesday is it failed the MOT. So as I mentioned, we had a couple of warning lights. We had uh, the 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 brake pad wear sensor warning light, which I just thought was for, for, from the fronts from when I changed them uh, in Germany. And uh, we also had that horrible red uh, airbag passenger warning light. In fact, if I just turn the ignition now, that one there, you can see that would never go off. So, um, but Ross at RBM was able to reset both of those, or sorry, reset the red light, and then discovered that the uh, yellow warning light was actually for the rear pads. So I hadn't even realized uh, in Germany that as well as completely going through my front pads and therefore discs because it was metal to metal, um, I also went through the rear pads, which were brand new as well. Um, I drove that car hard in Germany, or this car hard in Germany. So yeah, as you can see, according to this document, uh, brake pads worn down to the wear uh, indicator on the rear, which is uh, why we have that warning light still. Um, driver's door cannot be opened from outside the vehicle, um, which we knew about, and that was actually something that it, it failed on, which is what really delayed everything. Uh, and the brake hose excessively chafed offside front. So there were the uh, immediate uh, things that needed repairing to, to pass this test, and also uh, slightly deteriorated near side front brake hose. So then, having the door essentially delayed everything a little bit because um, obviously I had to source a, a door handle. Um, and amazingly, a guy called Nick, who is a follower of mine actually, I've met him a couple of times, he was breaking a uh, black uh, Z4, a, slight, a facelift one, but he actually, yeah, I haven't looked at it yet, but that's the handle that he supplied, which is great. Um, the other thing that uh, Ross noticed, so I can overlay some photos when I'm um, editing this video, is when he took the the door panel off, obviously, to inspect the handle and uh, replace that, uh, the membrane, the interior membrane, um, was completely disintegrated. Again, he, he took a photo of it, and I'll, I'll share that with you. So he replaced that as well. So all in all, we've had uh, the front brake pad wear sensor replaced, um, the rear brake pads and wear sensor replaced. MOT, obviously. Uh, driver's door hand handle was, was replaced. Also, both front brake hoses and brake fluid pressure bleed. And uh, removing and replacing the driver's door foam membrane with new sealant. So, all of that has been done. It's cost me a little bit over 400 quid. Um, so, I mean, really, in the past few months since we're talking just before Germany. So, yeah, it's September. I have spent about 1500 quid on this car, which is sort of playing in my head a little bit, actually, but not really, because I think now I've spent the money. Um, it's mechanically sound and, and should be good, at least for another year until the MOT, at least. Let's hope. Um, so I can really kick off plans with it. I've got quite a few things planned with it, actually, although it's all sort of go with the M240i at the moment. Um, there is, you know, I haven't forgotten about this car. Things such as paint restoration, uh, uh, retrim steering wheel, um, and potentially even some sort of track spec seats and harnesses, maybe. Um, there's lots of plans actually I've got for this, and obviously I always welcome your suggestions. So uh, anyway, I apologise for the very simplistic, basic nature of this video. I've actually got to get it into my head now that I can open the car. <laughs> Wait, because normally I would never ever leave the car leaving the key in there, but I've got to get it into my head now that I can. Oh, that is so weird. How strange is that? Um, so yeah, handle, handle's done. Obviously brake pads at the back. And uh, yeah, very, very happy indeed. One happy camper. Uh, and it's nice obviously to have the car back next to the 240i. Um, so again, yeah, apologies for the very, very uh, simplistic blase approach to this video. It was just a bit, you know, sort of all pushed it together, but hopefully it's been um, something uh, interesting anyway. Just before I go then, do please make sure to check out the link in the description to Carly. They have got 25% off the OBD Reader adapter and 25% off the subscription for the full app um, for just this Black Friday, 25th to 30th period. The most discount I've ever been able to give is 20% just off the adapter. This is 25 off the adapter and the subscription just for this five days. Um, so yeah, if you haven't got a Carly subscription or adapter yet, now is definitely the time to go ahead and do it, or even to get it as a gift for someone 
for Christmas. Right, thanks guys for your support as always. Uh, I endeavor now to just sort of get this car um, clean first actually, it needs a good old clean. And um, well, let's just hope for some sunshine and we can get it out and have a good bit of fun with it. Um, for now though, please do subscribe to the channel because there's lots of stuff upcoming. Lots of stuff actually, uh, which I'm quite excited for. And uh, make sure you thumb up this video and I'll see you all very, very soon.